amazing party, which is very handsome. James Muscle today of video for here, music yeah. video. So thank you so much for having us here first. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the nice words. I love this. I'll hang around you all day. This right? is great. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> It's an amazing experience that you are able to put behind and maybe inspire others, right? Especially it's done in black and white. Tell me a little bit about so it. So the song, uh, one of my favorites off my album, How I Like It, which I recently released. It's, look, it's a sad song. It's about a relationship that I hung on to for too long and I wasn't treated well on it. So though there are bits of other relationships in it, it's not 100% about one, it's predominantly that. But you know what, when I listen to it, I don't get sad. I don't go, oh man, that sucked. I go, no, nah, I got past it. I'm no longer in that. I've learned so much from it. And it actually inspires me to keep growing, getting stronger, moving forward. And so I wanted the video to reflect that. I wanted it to be beautiful. I wanted it to be cinematic, but I also wanted it to have that, that truth of sadness in it. And I think we accomplished it all. And as you said, I did it with my friends. This wasn't like, oh, let me hire somebody to write the treatment. No, I came up with it brought on Joshua Schultz to help me direct it and create it and edit it and um, just added my other friends, my buddy David, to, to be the DP. I'm very lucky to have incredibly talented friends and all of them came together. Thank you guys so much. And that's how we're doing it, doing everything independent and doing it just uh, my way. Hell yeah, you don't need to wait around to have a label, green light, a multi-million dollar deal for you. Like You can just go and create, just go and be inspired by the world around you and just make music. It, it might take one song and then you're on the radio, it might take a thousand, but if you keep doing it, at least is what I believe you'll get there. And the same thing with content. Like, you don't have to have fancy equipment, really. Just have a good eye and, and pass it by your friends. Like, I don't know, we can do so much more today than we could even 10 years ago. Like, take advantage of that. And get all those people they love you, especially on social media. By the way, I'm your stalker on Instagram. <laughs> Perfect. As you should. I see Stalk all the away. Cool pictures. <laughs> so, guys, make sure you follow James Maslow on Instagram. I see you support a charity as well. Make-A-Wish Foundation, yep. and you were performing, which was beautiful performance. Thank Tell me you. a little I'm bit. I'm lucky to do what I do, and the least I can do is take a little bit of my time and try and give back. And Make-A-Wish is one of the best foundations I've ever worked with. On my old TV show, we used to have them come every single week, which was awesome. I got to meet some of the most inspirational young boys and girls that to this day, I mean, I don't know. It's really, it's amazing mm -hmm. to see how optimistic and happy some of these kids are with life-threatening or terminal diseases. And so whenever I feel like I'm having a bad day or I want to be upset about something, you know, I just realize, like, Think about them. how are these kids happier than me? Like, they found a way to enjoy life, and I love that, and it's contagious. So I love being a part of Make-A-Wish. And being asked to perform at their gala this year was such an honor. So thank you, guys. It was a lot of fun. It was very beautiful. Thank you. Who is your truly deep in your heart inspiration? Which singer? Which uh, artist? You know, I think that why Michael Jackson is so popular like it's easy to say that because who can argue with it right yes. but the reason why I love MJ and I've watched MJ's tapes and is he wanted to get better every single day now there are some artists out there even gigantic artists some of which I know I'm not gonna name who have an immense amount of fame an immense amount of success an immense amount of opportunity but they don't really care about getting better anymore in fact they get cocky some of these guys some of young Hollywood are absolute assholes I'm not gonna be like some are great but I don't like that. I want to get better every single day. So even with these opportunities, I'm not going to sit back and go, oh, I've made it. No, I want to do this for the rest of my life. So Michael Jackson is inspiring me because he always wanted to be better and better and better. And I just, for better or worse, that's, that's my mentality. He paved the way for not only pop music, but every kind of music. So, um, you know, modern day, I mean, John Bellion kills it. You know what yeah. I mean? Brian McKnight, I love. I mean, there's so many people I look up to, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Michael. Yeah, we all love Michael Jackson. And Tell us a little bit how we can find you. Of course, Instagram, but preferable, yeah. I know, uh, Twitter maybe? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of it is just at James Maslow. Keep it pretty simple. And then jamesmaslow.com, all the info's there. What up, y'all? James Maslow here, and this is Red Carpet of Hollywood.